My name is Christy. My name is Adrian. My name is Megan. My name is Shelly. My name is Lee. My name is Megan. My name is Jordan, and this is my wife, Brittany. My name is Mike. My name is Rose. After we moved here, my drinking became a problem, and my marriage was destroyed. I was depressed, sad, upset. I definitely frequented the party scene. Um, unfortunately, I had a few run-ins with the police. Drugs, um, guys, friends, parties, whatever, just to feel like I belonged somewhere. I saw a different side of my husband. He turned very angry and violent. One night, we were getting ready for bed, and Jordan starts having really bad lung pain. And I'm a nurse and I tend to say, oh, you're fine, everything's gonna be fine. Um, and it wasn't fine. I actually have a condition called fibromyalgia and I'm in a wheelchair 24 seven. I bought a truck, not new, not old. Well, three weeks later, my truck breaks down. It came out to be a $4,000 repair. The same week, same week, my wife's car broke down. I was dealing with a lot of depression. I was using drugs. She told me that uh, your grandfather passed away. But I don't, I'm embarrassed. I don't want them to know that I'm a mother of a murderer. I was put down all the time, saying that I was worthless. I lost control of the vehicle and slid off the road into a ditch culvert. I stopped going to church. I stopped believing. Definitely didn't have God in my life. They came in the room, there was doctors everywhere, he was a high priority patient. Um, it was evident that this was a critical situation. During this whole fiasco, I suffer from anxiety and depression. All these voices are everywhere saying, you're not going to make it, you're not going to provide. Yeah, I became very depressed. There was days, many days, when I was home alone, that I did not want to go on. I did not want to continue my life. I saw Focus Church online and Pastor Mike was preaching and he just spoke to my heart and I said I need to go. I remember hearing the sound of the church. Um, we would hear so many stories, so many messages um, about people praying for, for me and my recovery. So I came and I was overwhelmed. I could not believe the joy I felt when I came here. And then when I came here to Focus, I really felt this is it. As soon as I pulled in, I saw the welcome home sign and I was like, okay, this is it. By the grace of God, our warranty was covered for the transmission. Our warranty was totally taken care of. We didn't have to pay a dime. That was good. Didn't have to worry about anything. Going back to my truck, $4,000 repair came down to, we're gonna take care of parts because the truck was taking a little bit longer than we expected. Then it came down to, we're going to take care of most of it. All you got to pay is a small portion. And I just felt, as soon as I started praying to God, I felt this huge weight lifted off of me. God knows the right answer. He, he's going to show you and tell you what you need to do. I swear if I had not gone to church and kept watching every Sunday, if Focus had not, had everything on TV for us, it would have been a very alone time, and I've, it's not alone for me anymore. He was giving us this miracle, this, this faith-building exercise, and now I'm fully back to health. Um, I can live a long life, and every time I look down at my scar, I hope I remember being in that dark, quiet, lonely place, and I remember the sound of the church, and I remember God reaching out His hand I hope I can go back there because God taught me so much there and gave me so much faith there. And I hope you did too.